Hi guys, me Mad Monarch here, and today we've got a little bit of news for you. The latest patch notes have been released, so let's see what's new in this update. First of all, we have a new ability, Hypercharge. Um, now this unlocks at power level 11, so the gear slots have been uh, moved, so now your, uh, your process of unlocking is at power 7, gadget, at power 8, first gear, at power 9, second gear, no wait no, at power 9, star power, a power 10, second gear, and power 11, hypercharge. Um, you charge up hypercharge just like a normal super, except it takes about two and a half times more shots to charge. And when you activate it, it gives your brawler a five second boost. So the hypercharge lasts normally for five seconds, but if you continue to hit enemies whilst it's active, you can keep it active for longer. And how it works is that your brawler get, uh, moves faster, deals more damage, and takes less damage, and also their super has like an extra kind of ability. There are only six brawlers right now with hypercharge. Shelly, Colt, Bull, Spike, Jackie, and Pearl. And here's what their hypercharges are. Shelly, she Shelly is, has double barrel, where her super is 33% larger. This means that there are 33% more bullets fired from the super. Colt has dual wielding, where his super is now 120% is uh, wider, sorry. Um, this means that Colt shoots an extra column, column of bullets from the super. Spike has Blooming Season, where his super has, is 20% larger. Uh, Bulls has Jaws of Steel, where he takes 80% less damage whilst using his super. Jackie has Seismic Event, where Jackie's super also slows down enemies for 1.5 seconds. And one of the new brawlers of this update, Pearl, has Paralytic, where um, a super leaves a burning, ground, a burning area on the ground for a few seconds after use. These offers will all be available to purchase through some collector's pack offers in the shop. Um, currently, there are offers for Colt and Bull. These and these offers can be bought with either coins or gems. The coin offers cost ninety six hundred coins, which is uh, quite a lot. <laughs> I mean, I, I, there might be at least some one person out there with like ten thousand gold or something. Um, but yeah, the, those can only be bought if you have the brawler at power level eleven. If you don't, like I do, then you can buy the gem offers instead. But obviously for me, it costs more because, again, my brawlers aren't power level 11. Um, if you can't buy these offers, then you can just wait for a few weeks and they should be released to um, ev for everyone to buy for, I think, 5,000 coins. I but that's, that is subject to change. They might, they might decrease that because, again, 5,000 is quite a lot. Um, so, yeah, that, that should, it should come out within a few weeks' time. There is also an event right now going called Hypercharge Unleashed, where you random you get randomly selected one of the what one of the five one of the six brawlers and one of one of three modes, either Brawl Ball, Gem Grab, or Bounty. And you can basically like test out their hypercharge. And if you manage to win 25 matches in this mode, you get Shelly's hypercharge for free. So definitely make sure to do this. This is a very high value event. Now for the new skins. First of all, we have the Wasteland skins. Um, so we have Raider Cordelius and Marauder Maisie for 149 gems or 5,000 bling. Marauder Maisie is a Power League skin. Um, for 199 gems, we have Rodeo Hank. And for 79 gems or 2,750 bling, we have Scorpion Willow. And these will be released in early September. We have three Brawl Academy skins. We have Chili De Rosa and Nerd Squeak for 149 gems or 5,000 bling. And Jock Stew for 299 gems. These will be released mid September. And the Robot Factory skins are coming back. So we got Caesar Sam and Lawless Lola for 149 gems or 5,000 bling. And Desperado Poco for 79 gems or 2,750 bling. Uh, these will be available during September. Uh, me, uh, College M's and Lil Helper Penny have been redesigned. So now they look better. And College M's has been renamed to Mean Girl M's. So it can be bought for 29 gems or 1,000 bling. And she's she joins the Brawl Academy skin group. Um, other skins we have... Um, per Periscope Pearl, uh, the tier 70 award for the Brawl Pass. Mm, uh, Hanbok Mandy for 149 gems or 5,000 bling. And Luda Janet for 199 gems. These will be available in late September. Vintage Pearl for 29 gems or 1,000 bling will be available in the shop when the season starts. Then Mecha Edgar for 299 gems, available in early October. And finally, Inferno Chuck for, oops, 
Hold on. As I was saying, finally, Inferno Chuck for 29 gems, 1,000 bling, available mid-October. We have one new super rare gear, the gadget gear. This increases the amount of gadgets you have from 3 to 4. And because it's super rare, it's available on all brawlers. It's definitely a pretty good gadget, you should definitely get it. And now, cosmetic items. Pause if you want to read them. Okay, now balance changes. First off, I want to make it known that power level the power level increase has been buffed from 5% to 10%, which means every brawler now deals more damage and has more health. So, which means there's a whole host of new numbers to get used to. So, I don't, I'm don't. i pretty sure these are power level 1 stats. I don't know if they're, they align with the power level 1 stats fr from before the update, but either way, these are the balance changes. So, first of all, the buffs. Hank... Uh, Hank's base damage and base health have been buffed. Buster's base health and base damage have been buffed. Baron's supercharge rate has been increased. Uh, or rather decreased. Oh, whatever. His supercharge has been buffed. <laughs> that, that's the point. Um, BB's base health has been buffed. Nani's base damage has been buffed, but her return to sender dura gadget duration has been nerfed. Not sure why that's in the buff list. Piper's base damage has been buffed, but her homemade recipe... Um, homing ability has been nerfed. Again, I'm not sure why that's in the buff list. So basically that means that the gadget like homes less now. So where whereas before it was more accurate if like if you sh if you missed a shot but then it like curves to hit you. Now it can't it doesn't curve as much. Mandy's base damage has been buffed. Leon's base health has been buffed. Sandy's supercharge has been buffed. Fang's super damage and supercharge char super charge gained from hitting the super have both been buffed. Um, Willow's base health has been buffed, uh, Edgar's base buff, base health has been buffed, and Mortis's long dash now charges regardless of ammo state, which means that you, you'll always, you, do, you don't need all three charge, all three ammo in order to get your long dash, you now get it all, you get, now get it all the time. Now the nerfs. Squeed's resi residue gadget duration has been nerfed, and his, uh, chain reaction star power has been nerfed. The damage increase. Bonnie's uh, projectile speed has been nerfed. Crow's extra to toxic star power um, damage um, damage decrease has been nerfed. Tick's reload speed has been has been uh, wait what increased? I, I think it's supposed to say increased. Um, so well, I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll have to fact check that. Hold on. I'll I'll I'll, I'll fact check that at the end of the video. Um, Tara's base health. And finding Tyler's base health has been nerfed. Um, we've got map changes. First of all, um, slots 5 and 6 have been disabled right now. Because um, they're, I think they're doing a test to see to see if people will not... So like, people will like... If matchmaking gets improved from, from this. I, I personally don't think they should have done this. But whatever the case, they are, they've done it. Which means that Bounty, Heist and Hot Zone have for now, been removed from competitive making, so they'll come back. They're, they're replacing the special events. Um, but they are still available in Freddy Rooms and in Mapmaker. So... Okay, here, here are the map rotations. Pause if you want to read them. And here are the map changes, well, the environment changes, and a couple of bug fixes, and also, Jock Stu and Mecha Edgar are the first skins to have custom effects when you defeat enemy brawlers, and there will be defeat animations for all the other 299 gem skins as well, and, oh yeah, there's a power level change. Quest change, when you re-roll a multi-quest, you should get a multi another multi-quest with a completely different set of brawlers. There's a hypercharge unleashed event. So all for the hypercharge unleashed event, brawlers are maxed with hypercharge as well. And you got the collector's packs as well. If your brawler is not a power level eleven, the collector packs will also include a discounted 
have a lot of value. Hold on. Discounted. Level up value. Discounted. Level up value. I don't think that's discounted, mate. I really don't. Also, I just checked on YouTube, and yeah, Tick's reload speed has been nerfed, so I'm not sure why it says it's been increased here. That's supposed to be, say, said decrease. Anyways... That is... Oh, wait. There's one more thing. Um, hypercharges will be added to star drops around the middle of the season, um, but you and, and you will be able to receive hypercharges even if you don't have um, your brawler at power level 11, which is very good. That is re really, really good, and I'm glad... Um, they're, they're doing that. I, I'm glad the dev team have included that. So, and, and also the, you, you've reduced the amount of token doublers that you can get from, uh, well, the amount of token doublers or the chance? I think it's the amount of token doublers you get because like people are getting way too many from them. So yeah, that is everything within this update. Pretty big update, I must say. Hypercharge sounds really fun. Um, we'll have, we'll have to wait and see if they, um, if it's as OP as everyone says it is. Um, I feel like it might be, but, uh, but considering how long it takes to charge from like what I've seen from the sneak peek videos, they actually, they actually, it actually might not be that overpowered. It might actually be somewhat balanced, but who knows? Anyways, that's enough from me. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all the YouTube stuff. I hope you found this video informative and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.